I'm Reaver, bringing you guys a video of what my house looks like right now. Here's my sump, and um, here's what my house looks like. It looks like a containment unit for a, an outbreak. My tank is that right there, which you see. That's my tank, which is not set up. This is all my um, appliances for my house. Um, this is what my house looks like right now. Sorry, I'm putting it in my shoes there. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. This is my appliances right now. This is where you come in to my house. This is what's currently happening right now. for my appliances. There's the other stuff that was put away. My bathroom right now when it got flooded. You guys can tell. My room of everything. That's not a stain. That's a piece of sewage that came from, from the bathroom. And this is what it looks like everywhere. That's my television. That's where I sit down and relax, watch TV. That's everything out. How they're taking care of everything. This is removing the floor. This is them doing everything that they need to do to contain the contamination. From day one, I've been telling my insurance company that this was a category three drainage break. And for some reason, somebody classified it as the um, category two, which is clean water. Category three meaning that it's sewage water or black water, meaning anything that gets touched by this water has to be removed. They're gonna be taking out this door right here. Taking out this door. And taking out the walls. Everything we you see is gonna be removed through the sewage. So I know this is not related to reefing, but it's gonna be a while before I can actually get this tank set up and running. Maybe about I'm thinking by the beginning of next year, or maybe in December, because I'm hoping this will be done by December. I can get it all set up. But this is what my house looks like right now. Like I said, this is all my appliances, my refrigerator's here. That's what everything looks like. And so, right now, I've been fighting with the insurance company to let them know about what's going on. And they finally authorized the Cat 3, which is um, Feezy's Containment. Um, because it was sewage water that came out of my toilet. Anyways, guys, just a little update of what's going on with my house and what's going on with my, my tank and why it hasn't been set up yet. Um, kind of bringing you guys everything. This is what my tank looks like right now. It's a little bit dirty and messy, so I apologize for that. So this is where it's up, set up. This is the 90 gallon that I had, um, which is pretty amazing what it still looks like and you know, I've been trying to maintain the water my a camps are doing pretty good I mean my a camps doing good my um oh man I just lost the name of that um coral everything else I don't really have a lot of corals in here everything seems to still be doing fine I still have you know the shrimp I have that guy in there I have this guy which is totally amazing love this guy and then I have my two clownfish which are super cool. Um, had them for a while now. And um, here's my people. Which I'm trying to get all this thing placed. I've been having problems with my light for some reason. This section of the light over here hasn't been working very well. Um, keep setting on and off. I, call I contact the Kessel Lighting. They're saying they're going to get a hold of me to try to see if they can get it replaced and fixed. Um, Hopefully that's the case that they try to do that and get it all fixed and repaired um, so I can get it working right now. You guys can tell it's this side, I think I'm sorry, is this side the one that's not working probably, which is the left side. And you can tell the difference of the light from here. This side looks more blue and this side looks more white. So this is giving me a different spectrum on here. 
um, anyways, guys, so just keep keep uh, keep on going. You know, I'm trying to get there. Unfortunately, with everything that's going, this has been going on since September 16. I've been fighting with the insurance company regarding this issue, and it still hasn't gotten fixed. Um, fortunately, yesterday I got a call saying that my Cat 3 was uh, approved. Um, the water started coming out from this toilet, and it just everything was spread out all over there where you see the blue tape. All that got wet. All this got wet. It got wet past the tape, but they can only put the tape there because uh, they're going to remove all that later. All the way over here. Pieces of poo everywhere. Toilet paper and shit. So, uh, very uncomfortable having to be here at the house. Right now, they're covering all of my cabinets. You guys are doing a great job covering everything up. The first crew that showed up didn't do a very good job. This guy that's doing this right now is totally amazing. He's covering everything up like it should be. The cabinets are going to be removed too because they are category 3 and everything with cat 3 is supposed to be removed so they're going to be removing the cabinets. I'm hoping the insurance proves it and um, all the walls. Anyways guys, just keeping you updated of why my tank or why I haven't been bringing up videos like I should be bringing videos but um, this is why. So anyways guys, see you guys in the next one. Thank you for being patient. Thanks to all the people that have been subscribing to my channel. Um, I've still been trying to deal with uh, Red Sea about the problem that I've been having with the 525XL. They still haven't been wanting to repair it or replace it. Um, hopefully, I have some progress with that and with the insurance company and everything. So, um, I'll keep you guys posted on both situations. I know this is not related to reefing, but you know it's the reason why I haven't been able to get my tank set up and and ready to go. Um, this thing would have been up and running already if it was up to me, but um, this kind of gives me the opportunity to, to get the equipment that I need to set up that tank and get it all up and running. Alright guys, thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.